Hello. I am a hot mess. Holy hell. Ooh, I got to dye my hair. What are you doing, Snuggles? Running around like a nut? <laughs> I am a hot mess. Holy hell. The cats are out of control. Ooh, I got to dye my hair. What are you doing? Forgot to turn down my volume. <laughs> hey, cat. Hello there, Heidi. How are you? Mr. Ross, how you doing? Hey, Martha Peller. Ginger girl. Yeah, he's doing good. The only thing is that he, he, it's itching and he scratched it and kind of ripped it open a little bit. But, you know, what are you going to do? You know, when it, when the, it starts to dry up, it gets itchy. Hi, Betty Escalin. Hi, Roxanne. Hey, Jean. How you doing? Hello. Are y'all ready for St. Patrick's Day tomorrow? Who's making corned beef and cabbage? Me. <laughs> Cheating on my diet tomorrow. Yes, I am, because I will be having some potatoes. Have to have potatoes with my corned beef and cabbage and carrots. Lori Wardley, how are you doing, my friend? Hi, Cheryl. Hello, Hazel. <laughs> Hi, Jan. Hi, Julie. The gang is all here. Wonderful. I was a good girl, guys. I got up this morning, had my coffee, and immediately packed all my... Well, I should say bubble wrapped all of my stuff from my last two sales. So now tomorrow I just got to uh, bubble wrap everything from today. Hi, Joanne. You need cooking lessons? <laughs> I should probably film me doing my corned beef and cabbage. Perhaps I'll do that. Hi, Karen L. I know I missed somebody. Hi, Kathy Wiseman. Little, little string meat. <laughs> Hi, Leona. Hey, Robin. I was just... No, I don't do mine in a crock pot. Hi, Patricia Chapman. I am doing just peachy. I hope you are too. Carrie Ann, hello. Karen Williams, hello. Hi, Minnie. Hi, Helen Casey. Yeah, I um, I put mine in a big pot of water, I bring it to a boil, and then I turn it down to simmer and let it cook like that for about two and a half, three hours. Hey, Sally. I have never tried it in a cooking bag. Hey, Joan. Hi, Kathy Bond villain. Yeah, I've never tried it in a cooking bag. All the live long day. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Then once the corned beef is done, I'll take it out. And then I'll put my potatoes, cabbage, and carrots in the same water that I cooked the corned beef in. Because it's got all the flavor and I cook all that. All that. I don't know if anybody else does it that way, but that's how I do it. He's doing wonderful. He's doing wonderful. Uh, he goes a week from today to get his uh, stitches removed. So, yes. Hi, Nancy Robertson. Well, that sounds yummy, Nancy. 
Oh, I love me some cabbage. It don't like me, but I don't care. I'm by myself. So I will eat as much as I want. <laughs> yeah, no, of course I would not, uh, you know, I would cut it out and just come back to when it's cooked. <laughs> there you go, Lori. That works for me. Works for me. You know, whatever floats your boat. Hey, Cindy. Yeah, whatever floats your boat, you know. If I had some Baileys, I'd put it in my damn coffee tomorrow too, but I don't have any. So, you know, sucks to be me. <laughs> Hi, Tammy Renee. Hi, Frida. Really? You bake it? Maybe I should try that. Oh, okay, I got you, Nancy. Maybe I should try that. Yes. Hi, Susan. I know, I am like starving right now. Ooh, I bet that's yummy, Lori. You have to send me some. Hey, Pamela Bug, how are you, baby? Okay, Rebecca. I didn't, well, I checked my email this morning, but I haven't checked it in quite a bit. Oh, gotcha, Lisa, okay. Huh, maybe I maybe I'll try maybe I'll try baking it. Oh, that sounds yummy, cat. Swift premium. Oh my god, I remember them. Did you, Nancy? Okay. Hey Nathan, how's it going? Um who was, I got to scroll back up. Who's, there it is. Peacock Peller, all the, 350 for three to four hours. Okay, 350 for three to four hours. Hmm. Oh, I'm doing just fine there, Nathan. Fat side up. Gotcha. I don't remember canned ham. The only thing I remember is spam. Oh, no, I do remember canned ham. Yes, I do. And it, it, it came in shape like this. And it had the peel down um, thingamajig. <laughs> wow, I'm showing my age. Yes, I am. I forgot all about that. Yes. Yes, Joanne. Did he, Kathy? <laughs> I have, I have um, Binks magnets for sale today because I had a bunch of extras. I have 12, 12 of them. They're going to be three bucks a piece, so I do have those today. I hope everybody's made it. Um, without getting broken because they're on the thin side. The Spam Museum. They have a Spam Museum. <laughs> oh my goodness. They will have museums for just about anything, won't they? I don't understand that one, but that's just me. Okay, cool. Thank you, Karen. <laughs> Hi, Lori Perry. Uh, yes, Susan. I do remember something like that because I'm part Polish. So, yes. I can upcycle the old ham cans. <laughs> 
Yeah, probably. <laughs> Hi, Robert. How are you today? So I have uh, some great stuff today, guys. I have ups or thrift flips, upcycles, whatever. Fry up spam and melt cheese on top and hamburger bun and tell the kids spam burgers for dinner. See, I would I I I'm not knocking spam because I do like it, but it's really greasy. So I saw a video on YouTube. The guy took the can of spam. Hey Carrie, he cut it up into chunks. And then he dropped it in boiling water and he boiled it, I think, for like 10 minutes to get all that excess fat out. Then he put it in the frying pan, I think, with butter and browned it. And oh my God, did it look fabulous. I'm going to have to see if I can find that video. Um... Yeah, so anyways, um, I have lots of great stuff today. As I said, I she's doing good, Nathan. She's doing she's doing good. Um I have some jadeite today from my personal collection back here. Uh hi Mary Hammond. I have some clear glass. I have some spectacular high C glass in the orchid pattern. Uh, I don't know if she's going to come back right now, Nathan. Um, I really don't know if she's going to. Uh, I have an Easter assemblage. I have some decorative plates. I have some Easter um, decorations. Uh, I have some very old 1800 book lots. Yeah, so we've got some great stuff today, everyone. Um, so... Uh, just a reminder to everyone that after my sale tonight, it's, no, I do not have spam. <laughs> my son likes spam. So one year for Christmas, as a gag gift, I threw a can of spam in his stocking. He was, he was happier than a pig and shit. I'm like, really? Like, that was his favorite gift. I'm like, okay. But yeah, yes, I have one rolling pin today. One rolling pin today. Um, anyways, uh, I forgot what I was saying, but um, yeah, I have some jewelry as well. Um, Hawaii loves spam. Spam and eggs, spam and Reese's. Remember 51st, 51st dates? Spam and Reese's. That was one of that's one of my favorite uh Adam Sandler movies is 51st Dates. That was a great, great movie. Well, I love Adam Sandler anyway, and I love Drew Barrymore, so they're really good together. But anywho, so shall we get started, everyone? Oh, I know what I was saying. So Vintage Vinny will be on at 6 o'clock. Then at 8 o'clock is Miss Pamela Blanchard, Kelly, and Mark. 10 o'clock, uh, possibly, is uh, Vintage and Vinyl, Katie and uh, Soul Nate. They have a jewelry sale on Katie's channel. Um, oh, Vinny canceled. That's right, I forgot. He's been sick. Totally forgot about that. Yeah, he had a sinus infection or something. That's right. Yeah, thanks for reminding me. I, I totally forgot. Um, and if um, if uh, Nate and Katie... Hi, Sarah. Hey, here we go. Uh, if Katie and Nate aren't having a sale, I know that Trisha from Sandy and Otto has a sale at 10 o'clock. So, uh, yeah. 
Yeah, I know, I know. But you know what? This is the weather for it. You know, because it's like up and down, up and down, warm, cold, warm, cold. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Um, fried rice with Spam. I bet it is good. Hi, Gloria. All right. So, I'm just going to sit for a minute. And uh, I'll, I'll give it about four minutes and then we'll get started. Anybody got any questions? Aaron and Miss Anitra and a guest are on at six o'clock, okay? All right, thank you. Oh, thank you. Yes. Miss America. No, Statue of Liberty. New York. Yes, I did, Sally. Yeah, I got it back in December. Yep. Oh, nice, Mary. He just, oh, awesome. Awesome. Aaron the ephemera guy, right? <laughs> Um, it's only going to be 50 here today, but hey, I'm not complaining because it's, it's March and usually we have a blizzard around this time. Usually right before St. Patrick's Day or right after, we usually have a really bad snowstorm or a blizzard. So you never know around here. Aaron Proctor. I think he calls himself Air, the ephemera guy now or something. Am I wrong? I don't know. I don't know. I bet you are, Patricia. I would be too. All right. Uh, for anyone who is new here, I ship from New York State. I use Pirate Ship for shipping. And shipping is extra. It is not included in the prices of the items. Uh, it's calculated by the size and the weight of your box and where you live in proximity to me. My girl Virginia Hello has just put in a link for my live sale registration form. If you've never purchased from me before, please click that link, fill the form out, and send it on its way, and you are good to go. Oh, now he has tornadoes on his birthday. How wonderful. Um, Niagara Falls, uh, Frida. I had an Aunt Frida. Uh, all right. I think we'll get started, peeps. What do you think? Are you all ready for some good stuff today? I hope so. Thank you, Roxanne. Yes, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Oh, awesome, Cheryl. Thank you for doing that. Thank you for doing that. Yes, if anybody has moved or anything and has not notified me, please uh, refill out... Uh, your information if you moved or if you changed your PayPal email address or your regular email address, fill out that uh, live sale registration form because if your package goes to your old address, you're going to have to pay for shipping to have it sent to the new address if I wasn't aware that you moved. West Point. Oh, cool. All right. Patricia said, let's go. All right. Hi, Maria. Oh, I'm sorry, honey. I hope you feel better, love. Okay, we're starting with some smalls today. Let's see. Uh, let's start with this. This is actually a little thrift flip I did. In one of my uh, Salvation Army haul videos, I showed you a bunch of plastic eggs. 
that I purchased and mentioned that I was going to do a little thrift flip on them. Well, this is what I did. And I love it. Now, it's glued closed. I glued it closed because I was figuring it would just be like a little decor piece. But I have more to make, so the other ones I will not glue shut. I will leave them unglued so you can open them and put things in them if you would like. Hi, Maria. Um, but I thought it came out kind of cute. Uh, it is $6, and it's number 30. $6, number 30. Yeah, isn't it neat? Carrie Ann. Okay, you got it, Miss Carrie. All right. Carrie Ann. All right. I have another, uh, let's see. What do I want to do? Let's do this. I have, I love, 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 love this bracelet. And I used to wear it when I had a job outside of the home. Thank you, Minnie. But I don't have a job outside the home anymore. So I'm offering this gorgeous bracelet. OMG. It's got a toggle clasp. Isn't this beautiful? Hola, Jules. Now, if let me unhook it and I will measure it for you. Okay, it's eight and a half inches to the end of the uh, toggle. So it's probably like eight inches. Um, but look how beautiful this is. I absolutely love it. Hold it still, Scooty. <laughs> I was trying, but I was dropping it. I was trying to show everybody the different, the different, um, So this bracelet is going to be $16, number 35. $16, number 35. Yeah, I, I love this. Miss Susan, all right, you got it. It is beautiful. I absolutely love it. Thank you, Susan. Okay, so, hey, Christy, those uh, Vioza, they ain't working. Not working at all, okay? Not working at all. Two weeks I've been taking them. Look at how red my neck is. Oh my God. Alrighty, holy shiznit. Okay, I'm going to do another piece of jewelry, and then we'll move on to something else. I have this. Now, it's not marked by anybody. I just have this beautiful uh, patriotic heart flag pin, all done in rhinestones. I just love it. And it's a nice size pin, as you can see. Uh, the back of it is gold, and it has a uh, rollover uh, C-clasp, whatever you call it. <laughs> um, anywho, this is $14, number 36. 
$14, number 36. Hey, Blue Flamingo. Maria, you got it, girl. Thank you, sweetie. Hi, Melissa Black. You're very welcome. Woo-wee. Holy cow. Ooh, oh, that feels great. Oh, my God. It's going to melt all the ice in my glass. Whew. Ooh. My goodness. Oh, I got giveaways today, too, guys. I forgot to mention that. I have three giveaways today. Let me show you those really quick. I have this really cute uh, ceramic trinket uh, trinket dish. Hey, Perry Hughes. I have this uh, Bisque Angel Taper Candle Holder. Hi, Verna. And I have this pretty little resin bird. And it's got sparkles on it, little glitters on it. So those are my giveaways for today. So... In order to win a giveaway, you do have to purchase something from my sale in order to participate. So I just wanted to throw that out there. Okay. Nothing works for me, Peacock, unfortunately. Uh, okay. Here is one of my thrift flips. I love this one. I know, isn't that bird pretty? Oh boy. Get out of here, Karen. You need to send me a, 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 a screenshot of that. Are you still, Verna? When are they going to let you go home? That's okay, sweetheart. So this is this week's upcycled rolling pin. Love the cherries. Oh my gosh. And these are the original handles. I did not touch the handles. I wanted to leave them as they were. You can see this rolling pin had a lot of use. Hey, Gin Fizz. Dad jokes. <laughs> hey, Christina. Uh, this rolling pin is $18, number 42. $18, number 42. And I just ordered boxes uh, just for my rolling pins. Uh, because before I was putting them in the, um, the inner rolls from my bubble wrap which worked out great, you know, but now I will have boxes for these. Ah, uh, I'm glad. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Hazel Atlas. All right. She's going to take that. Thanks there, Miss Hazel. Okay, this is a really cool item, guys. I'm doing this as an offer up only because it's officially a hoard now. <laughs> um, this is so cool. All right, I'm going to start this at, let's see. I'm going to start it at $12. 
You are welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Look at this. It's in the box. Look at this. I know Karen Williams, but she drinks her wine out of a box. So look at this wine bottle stopper. OMG. It doesn't get any more glam than this. Holy cow. How cool is this? I saw this and I was like, oh my God. <laughs> She's all ready to comment. I just think this is so fabulous. You think, what is Jasmine? Recently had no feeling on your leg. Fancy schmancy, y'all. It is. Yes, that's a great idea. I didn't think of that. I did not even think of that. You could stick it in your tiara. Hey, Val. <laughs> okay, I see Sandra Garcia. Wait a minute. I see San. Wait a minute. No. Susan Stone is at 20. Sandra, you will have to go higher than 20 if you are interested. And again, it comes in its original box. Just like that. All right. I am going to count it down. Let me type in my sold first. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and sold. That is the coolest thing ever. All right. Uh, Susan for 25. Thank you so much. And thank you, uh, Sandra, for bidding on that. That is like, that is the coolest thing I've ever seen as far as wine stoppers. Eight second lag. All right, so the next offer up I do, guys, I'll start counting down from 15 instead of 10. Uh, what that was, number nine. Okay, number nine. All right. <laughs> Yes, you can, Karen. That would be great. <laughs> David, Tammy's David, he just texted me saying, so. <laughs> oh, dear. He cracks me up. I love David. He is hilarious. You use dial-up? No, you don't, Karen. Get out of here, dial up. Yeah, they're at round top today, yep. <laughs> um, okay, next, this is an offer up as well, Miss Karen, since you're going to help me. Thank you so much for that. Uh, this is going to start at um, $10. $10. Look at this advertising piece. Oh my gosh, this has to be from the 30s or 40s. How awesome is this piece? This is from my collection. Um, look at that baby. Hi, Matthew. 
So it is um, B&S Dry Cleaners, Wilson, New York. That's only a hop, skip, and a jump from me. It's only about a half hour drive. Oh my goodness. Now, this is the little hanger thing. It used to have um, a little easel, uh, a cardboard easel on the back, but that is long gone. So it would have to hang up on, on the wall. And it is, let's see, five by four. Five by four. Isn't that amazing? Oh, my goodness. That blue bird is absolutely, oh, my gosh. I'm trying to get it to so you to see it without the glare, but it's really hard. Oh, my gosh. And I think that, I really think that the thermometer works because my heat is on 70 and it's reading 70 degrees. So I do believe that this thermometer is still working. So I have two people at $10. Yes. Yes. So it is still working. Hi, Annette. How are you? <laughs> Isn't she a little cutie with the little curls? Oh my goodness. She looks like my Winnie, except Winnie's hair is straight. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is just fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. I love stuff like this. Absolutely love it. All right, I am going to start to count this down. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, sold. Gotcha, Susan. Yeah, I keep mine at 72 all winter. All winter. Yep. Sure do. I hate to be cold. I hate to be cold. All right. It looks like it's going to Annette for 18. Congratulations, Annette. And thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you for bidding as well, Tex-Mex. Hi, Carol. How are you? All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so now the hot flash is gone, and now I got goosebumps. <laughs> okay, everyone. I have this next item is an offer up. Um, these are also from my collection, and I know Gin Fizz and Hazel Atlas are going to lose their minds, so I'm just warning y'all ahead of time. Um, these are an offer up, and I'm starting them at These are RS Germany, and I have a pair. I have a pair of these gorgeous uh, little, I think these might have went to a cocoa set, little cups and saucers, and these are stunning. Let me show you the saucers. We've got uh, some kind of a, a squash or something there. Aren't they lovely? 
There's your back stamp, RS Germany. And here are the little cups. Now they are missing some gold paint. These are very, very old and very delicate. Yes, they are very old. Let me show you the other cup and the other saucer. Oh, it is a bud flower. Yes, it is. I didn't see this on the bottom on the other one. Oh, yes. Thank you. Whoops, that's the wrong one. Let me show you. Oh, no. Only the saucers have the... um have the marking. Yeah, it's a pod. I didn't real I didn't see, I didn't pay attention to this stuff on the bottom. Yeah, these are absolutely stunning. This is my favorite part. It's like it's like that patina with the bronze in the green. O M G. Hi Angie's oddities. Hello. I know, I didn't even get a chance to watch anybody's drop sales. I've been so busy, it's insane. Yes, I believe so. So you're going to get both of these amazing um, cups and saucers. All right, I am going to count these down, everyone. Fifteen. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and sold. No chips, cracks, or flea bites. Okay, there's the stat. So Hazel for 21. Thank you, Hazel. Uh, where am I here? Oh, here I am. All right, pardon me, guys. Got to blow the old schnoz. <laughs> All right. I have a brand new Liz Claiborne wallet in the box. This is a gorgeous brand new wallet. <laughs> Thank you, Maria. Hi, I'm, uh, Karen Harder. As you can see, it's still attached to the box, but I can show you. The inside. Beautiful, brand new Liz Claiborne wallet. This is the other side. It's got the zipper pocket. Put it back in the box. This brand new wallet, yes, it does, Joan. You that's right, is $20 and it's number 46. 
$20, number 46. What an excellent gift this would make for someone for Christmas or a birthday, you know. Beautiful brand new wallet. $20, number 46. <clears throat> Excuse me. Ah! <laughs> oh, Maria. All right, Maria, you got it. Thank you. All right. Okay. Um, now, this next item is an offer up. Let me just say, if she was in perfect condition with her sticker, she sold on eBay for $75 in perfect condition with her original sticker. Mine is not in perfect condition and does not have her original sticker. Um, but she's going to be an offer up nonetheless, starting at $18. And it is for this Joseph Original Geisha Girl. So let me show you the issues that she has, which I will touch up if the if whoever buys her would like me to touch her up, I will. She has a chip on her umbrella on the top and underneath. That's the only damage that she has. Now, like I said, if she didn't have this damage, she would be worth $75. Uh, she does have her Joseph original um, inscribed in the bottom. And this is where her sticker was. Her Joseph original sticker was. Because it's all, it's like sticky there. So she did have her original sticker at some point. She is amazing. She is uh, four and a quarter inches tall. Yeah, she is absolutely beautiful. She really is gorgeous. And she's got those, the black eyes. <laughs> hey, Steel. Yes. But if there's no interest in her, that's perfectly fine. I'll, I'll list her on eBay. I'll touch up her, her uh, chippies and let it be known, you know, and I'll just list her on eBay. But I just fit up. Oh, Jeffrey Ross is in at 18. All right. If there's no other interest besides Jeffrey, I will count her down. 10, 9, 8, 7, <laughs> 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and sold. Jeffrey, do you want me to touch up the chips or do you want me to leave her as she is? Because I will be glad to do that. Hey, KP. Okay, I will. You got it. Okay, it's time for some jadeite. Who wants to see jadeite? 
Well, too bad. You're going to see it anyway. No. <laughs> All right. Hi, Rose. <laughs> okay. So this next item is an offer up, and it's going to start at $20. And it is for these Fire King Jadeite mugs. They're in perfect condition. No chips, cracks, or flea bites. They have the D handle. There is the Fire King marking on the bottom. They do not glow. The only companies that made jadeite that glows is Jeanette and McKee. So they do not glow. But as I said, they are in excellent condition, guys. D-handle. They're just fabulous. All right, so I see Anne and Gloria are both, uh oh, Minnie is at 28. I know, how cool is that, you know, Kat? Can you imagine? And they thought nothing of it, you know, now everybody is like loving, I love jadeite myself. I, I absolutely love it. I love the color of it. It's for both, Lori. Yes, it's for both. Yes, ma'am. You glow when you're wearing your tiara. <laughs> you glow when you've had too much wine, too, right, Karen? <laughs> my lips are so friggin' dry. They're sticking to my teeth. I hate that. <laughs> All right, I'm going to start to count these awesome mugs down. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two, one, and sold. Ooh, we had a battle at the very end, but it looks like they're going to go to Lori Wortley for 43. Thank you, Lori, and thank you, everybody, that bid on those. Oh, my gosh. Lori for 43. All right. Thank you, Miss Lori, and you are very welcome. Thank you very much. Hi, Carol Jellison. All right, um, I also have some clear glass today. I'm going to do this next. Um, Karen, this is going to be an offer up starting at Also from my collection, this beautiful clear glass perfume bottle, excellent condition, no chips, cracks, or flea bites. Yep, just checking. <laughs> I just love, love this stopper. I just think it's gorgeous. Just finished making a dress. Oh my gosh, there's not many people left that like to sew. That's fantastic. 
You know, I do believe my grandma, my dad's mom, she used to make her own clothes until she got rheumatoid arthritis. And then she couldn't do anything anymore because she had it really, really bad. No pattern. Wow. Well, you're good. I don't know. Sometimes I think that patterns are just make things more confusing. <laughs> I'd rather just like look at a picture and just go from there. <laughs> and a serger. Wow. Good for you. Hi, Sylvia. Did she, Ann? Yeah. I, yeah, I'm, I'm almost positive that it, she did. She made a lot of her own clothes. She really did. All right. So let's see. We have a high offer of $20. I'm going to start to count this down. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and sold. She made a skirt last night with no pattern. Wow. How cool, Steel. All right, and that is going to go to Melissa for 24. Thank you, Melissa. 24. I used to make, uh, when my kids were little, I used to, I made their Halloween costumes. So that was always fun. All right. Um, I have some more jewelry. This I just love. This is so pretty. Um, hold on a second because my sticker came off. This is, um, and it's not marked anywhere, so I do not know who makes it. But it is this really awesome, hold on guys. It is a choker style necklace with black beads and rhinestones. I absolutely love this. And this is the clasp. It's one of those, I don't know what they call these clasps. So you just flip it up and which side? This side. And hook it like that into the, the jump ring. Isn't it pretty? And like I said, it is um it is a choker style necklace. I will measure it for you all. Hold on one second. Let's see. Oh, for Christ's sake, I just moved the thing. Hold on. <laughs> um, 16 inches. 16 inches. This necklace, and it, uh, I did not see any missing, uh, any missing stones anywhere. Uh, it is $16 and it's number 40. $16, number 40 for this beautiful necklace. Oh my gosh, I love it. It is so pretty. Melissa, you got it. It is beautiful. Hey, 
how you doing, dear Angela? How you doing? All right, let me put down Melissa for that one. All right. Okay. Um, next I have this awesome, this is Westmoreland, Westmoreland glass, and it is this beautiful milk glass pair of hands, and you would use this as um, like a, tr um, a trinket dish. And this was mine, it's out of my collection. Um, I will show you the Westmoreland mark right here. Let me see if you could see it. Oh, for crying out loud. It's right here. It's a W and a G. Westmoreland glass. Hmm, I wonder why. Is it better now? Can you hear me now? Okay, how about now? Okay now? Okay. <laughs> Yay! Okay. Hi, Karen K. <laughs> All right. Okay. Westmoreland Glass. Uh, I showed you the mark on the bottom. There's no um, no chips, cracks, or flea bites on this piece that I could feel. And this is just a beautiful piece. I love it. It is $18, and it's number 15. $18, number 15. Isn't it pretty? I love it. I love um, anything with like hands. And I don't find those, just the plain old hands that, you know, people use to put rings on and stuff, the glass ones. I never find those. So I don't know. All right. Oh, Sandra Garcia wants that one. Thank you, Sandra. It's beautiful. I used to keep it on my nightstand. Okay. I have a, a little uh, upcycle thrift flip that I did. So y'all remember this um, galvanized bucket. So I had... I, I love this. Look how cute. We got a cow on there. You're welcome, Sandra. Thank you so much. And then I put a cow on this side. Natural farm milk. I just thought it was really cute. And you could put flowers in here or whatever you would like. Just wanted to add a little something, something to it. Um, and it's it's a it's a tall one. Let me see. It is 10 and a quarter inches tall. Did you really, Heidi? How cool is that? Six and a half inches in diameter. 
and it is $16, number 41. $16, number 41. <laughs> I would love to try and milk a cow. I think that would be, um, it would probably hold three rolling pins. <laughs> um, I just think it would be really cool to try and milk a cow. Uh, Karen K. Okay, you got it, Karen. Uh, where am I here? Do do do. No, I don't. Okay. <laughs> My luck, he'd kick me or something and kill me. Not easy. Okay. But I would, I would like to say that I at least, you know, something that I tried. You have no patience, Steel? <laughs> I know, I don't either. Probably not a good thing for me to try. All right. Next, I have this little kitty figurine. Look at how pretty he is. He is in perfect condition, or she, she's got a bow, so I'm assuming it's a she. And it's made by Schmid, who makes a lot of the um, music boxes. 50 years later, you haven't forgotten. <laughs> I guess it was pretty devastating then. <laughs> Yes, isn't he adorable? OMG. Oh, he's doing great, Ann. He's doing great. Um, he is eight dollars and he is number sixteen. Eight dollars number sixteen. Minnie, you gotta refresh, honey, because number forty one is long gone. Doris, I see you for the kitty. Thank you. All right. Um Okay. Here is one of the most popular items in my recent thrift haul from Goodwill. This is an offer up and it is going to start at, hold on, um, eighteen dollars. So this is the way the cabinet goes. It hangs on your wall. So if you remember in my thrift haul, one of these was uh, broken off. So I, uh, I glued it back on with tight bond glue. So it has this beautiful um, paper on the inside. I love, I think that paper makes the whole thing. Oh my gosh, Carol. That sounds like wonderful memories. So, they put a sawtooth hanger on it for hanging. That's the back. Um, I didn't measure it, but I can if you would like me to. I just love the details. Look at the details on here. Isn't it amazing? Oh my gosh, it's just awesome. 
Wow. Okay, so I'm going to do some measurements for you guys. So just give me a second. Um, so from here, from here, that's 12. And then, so it's 16 inches long, like tall, 16 inches tall. And then, and then it is, Eleven inches wide, and it is about five and a half inches um, deep. And I, I just when I saw this up on the shelf, I couldn't rip it off the shelf fast enough. <laughs> if anybody was standing around me, they were going to get knocked the hell out. <laughs> All right. I am going to start to count it down, guys. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one and sold. Uh, there we go. All right. Okay. <laughs> Barb, yeah, see? You're just like me. Heck yeah. <laughs> Heck yeah. All right, I see Karen's uh, stop. Wow, Gloria. Y'all were battling on that one. Thank you to everyone that bid on that. And Gloria, congratulations. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I've never found anything like that. That was my favorite find. I can't turn it upside down because of this. I can't turn it upside down. I'll have to lay it like this. There. Okay. Um, hi, Patricia. Hi, Jan. Jan, when did, Jan, did I say hello to you? Because I don't remember if I did. Um, okay, so that is going to Gloria Boyd for $85. Wow, that was freaking popular. Oh, my gosh. Let me find... Where is it? Where is it? All right. Okie dokie, folks. I have another item. This item is um, an offer up and it is from 1953. Helen Melcher. Hello. It's going to start at $18. The shelf. This is, this is opposite of how they have it with the hanger. The hanger is down on this side. So you could hang it however you want. You could take off the sawtooth hanger 
and switch it. But I was holding it the way they put the hanger. Yeah, they had it wrong. That's what I was thinking. But, yeah. So, all you got to do is unscrew the hanger and put it on the other side. You are very welcome. Okay, offer up starting at uh, on the back here, uh, 1953. Yes, you could, yes. Hell no, Heidi. <laughs> Everybody would leave my sale. no idea what the tune is okay but as you can see it does have wear it is all from 1953 dance <laughs> oh my gosh this is just so stinking cool I can't do it with my left hand I know, right, Peacock? Absolutely. And I thought you would sit it, you know, like like this, but no, it's got the flat bottom and you would just sit it like that. Isn't it amazing? I just think it's so, hey, Robert. I just think it's so awesome. Okay, enough of that. Let's count it down. <laughs> okay, everybody ready? 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and sold. Hey, Lori Snow. <laughs> That cracks me up. <laughs> it's great. It is great. All right. I'm just going to refresh real quick and just double check. Okay. Jan Allardyce for 31. Congratulations. And thank you to everyone that offered on that. That is so cool. So cool. Congratulations, Jan. Okay. Y'all. And I know Hazel will recognize these. Hashtag bring back the clear glass. I have these two beautiful tea light holders. I should have put a candle in them. Let me put a candle in these guys. So you can appreciate how beautiful they really are. Let me grab a candle. Of course, these candles suck, but you'll get the idea. How beautiful are these? 
No chips, cracks, or flea bites on these. They're just beautiful. So you can take this out and just use this for a taper candle if you would like. So it's double duty. I love these, just love them. Um, for the pair of these, it is $16, number six. $16, number six. Yes, yeah, Susan, you were after the stop, honey. I refreshed and you were just under the stop. I'm sorry. And I see Barb Connolly for these. Thank you, Barb. All right. Now, with St. Patrick's Day tomorrow, um, I did a quick little thrift flip. Um, this picture I printed on photo paper, matte photo paper, and I also used a thrifted frame. Um, look at this. Now, this is going to be an offer up, everyone. Um, this is going to start at $12. Oh my goodness, is this picture not amazing? Oh my word. Now, if you want, you can hang it on the wall. It's got metal um, hangers on the back, but it has an easel back as well. And you could just sit it on a table. And I believe it is a five by seven. And I just saw this little girl and I said, she is absolutely amazing. I added a little bit of gold gilding on the frame because she's got gold on her outfit. And she is just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Oh my gosh. Look at those cheeks. And she's got little ringlets. My mother did my hair in these ringlets for my first communion. My whole head was ringlets with this gigantic white bow on my head. And I had no front teeth because I lost my teeth. <laughs> I was a hot mess, y'all. <laughs> I'm going to have to find that picture and show you guys because it is hilarious, okay? Oh, all right. I'm going to count this down. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and sold. <laughs> Red curls, yes. Yes, Eileen, I've heard of the rag curls. Absolutely. Okay, I see Karen stop, and it's going to Susan for 32. Thank you, everybody that bid on that one. Make another one? I can make another one. I just have to find another frame. Um, uh, let me see. What number was that? That was number 27. Susan, for 32. Congratulations, Susan. I know. Aren't they awesome? Bologna curls. <laughs> All right. Next up, I have an awesome vintage purse, guys. This is a flat priced item. Look at this amazing purse. Susan, calm down. 
calm down. I don't want you having a panic attack or anything. Look at this purse, guys. I uh, put a new chain on it because the one that was in the purse didn't match at all. Um, and this is in amazing condition. Hey, Pee Wee. Um, it is made by Fine Arts Bag Company Incorporated, New York, made in Hong Kong. Um, it does have some uh, light uh, marks in, on the inside, but nothing major. It's really in fantastic condition, guys. This is just beautiful. Um, I don't see any missing uh, sequins or beads. It is just gorgeous. Show you the... This purse is $20 and it's number 49. $20, number 49. Did I ever sell the silver one? You mean from my purse sale? Gloria Boyd. I see. Thank you, Gloria. The silver one. Refresh my memory, because I'm not sure which one you're talking about. Uh, Gloria Boyd. Gloria! The Victorian one. Oh, oh, yes, I did. The mesh one, yes. Yeah, I did sell that one, the mesh one. Yep, I did, Julie, a uh, few weeks ago. All right, guys. Um, I'm going to do the Binks magnets next. So, for the people that were at the... Um, the sale, the extra sale that I did for Binks, um, those people that purchased all got a magnet. And the people that donated um, cash that were not at the sale also received a magnet. So for anybody that did not receive a magnet and would like one, these are the little Binks magnets that I uh, made. Uh, for everybody helping me pay for his surgery. I have 12 of these available, and they're $3 each. And they are number... Oh, and let me just say one per person, okay? Just one per person. They're um, $3 each, number 45. You're welcome. $3 each, number 45. Julie, Helen, Helen Casey, Carol Verbeerst, Lori Wortley, Sandra Garcia, okay, I have seven left if anyone's interested, okay, so I will take five of these out, oh, Karen Williams would like one, five, six. Yes, you want one, Angela? Yes, ma'am. So one, two, 
Okay, I have five left. Send it to Scott. Oh my gosh, okay. Okay. Angela. Bonita and Amy. Hi, Bonita. And Minnie. Uh, Amy, Minnie, Eileen, okay, Rebecca, you got it. Okay, they're all gone, guys. Thank you so very much. Y'all, y'all are wonderful. You really are. Greatly, greatly appreciate it. All right. I have some more jadeite, you guys. Aw, thanks, Eileen. <laughs> Thank you. More jadeite. Yes, um, I will ra double wrap it in bubble wrap and it'll go in a bubble mailer. Yes, ma'am. It only costs like three, $3 or something. Yes, I'm, I'm thinning out my jadeite, uh, Miss Angela. I already sold the two, um, the two mugs that I had. <laughs> Joanne. Okay. So this next lot is going to be an offer up. And it is going to start at $16. And it is for, this is um, Fire King Alice Pattern. And I have two of the saucers in the Alice pattern. No chips, cracks, or flea bites. And one cup. So you're going to get two saucers and one cup. Unfortunately, I couldn't find another cup. So, this is what you'll get. And again, they're in excellent condition. No chips, cracks, or flea bites. And it is the Alice pattern. No, I don't think he does, Patricia. <laughs> but he knows how much I love him. He knows. He knows. But, yeah. Uh, he's spoiled. He's very spoiled. Very, very spoiled. I love the back. I love this. So here we are. All right. I am going to start to count this down. Y'all ready? 15, 14, 13, 12. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and sold. Um, they're made by uh, Fire King. I'm sorry. Um, I just saw your your question, um, Helen. They are Fire King, and it's the Alice pattern. All right, and it is looks like it's going to go to Minnie for thirty two. Congratulations, Minnie, and thank you, everybody that offered on those.
Okay, um, I do have more jadeite, but I'm going to do a couple other things first. Okay, um, Karen, this is going to be an offer up, and I'm going to start it at $16. Now, I want you to know that the vessel I made this assemblage in is extremely old. Um, this was sent to me by my friend Anne, and it was her great-grandmother's, I believe, she said. It was either her grandmother or her great-grandmother's. So, I was looking for the bunny for this tiny, this tiny little um, sifter. Oh, my word. Now, don't, don't judge me on the sign because I was having a hard time with my uh, my little stamps. They're very tiny and I have big fingers. <laughs> so I was trying to, to write happy, happy Easter and I did the best I could. <laughs> Isn't it, do you like it, Anne? I painted the tree pink and I made all of the eggs out of air dry clay because I didn't have any small enough eggs. They were all too big. So I just made my own. And yes, this is so stinking cute. Now the bunny, the bunny has damage on his ear, but that's why I used it in an assemblage. Thanks, Julie. Aw, uh, thank you, Anne. And thank you so much for sending it. So here's your size reference. Yeah, he's, it's, I, I'll turn it this way. There's an egg back here as well. Isn't it cute, Karen? I've never seen a sifter that small before. I couldn't believe it. I was like, oh my gosh. Thanks, Everyday Crafter. And it's got the green handle, so you know it's from the 30s. This is from the 30s, guys. It's a child sifter. Well, her grandma used it. <laughs> Thanks, Linda. Okay, I'm going to start to count this down. 15, 14, 13, 12. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and sold. Okay, your grandmother. I couldn't remember if it was grandmother or great-grandmother, but yeah. All right, and thank you everyone that offered on that. And it looks like it's going to Melissa for 37. Congratulations, Melissa, and thank you so much. Okay, what number was that? I thought I, did I take it off of the handle? Number 48, okay, for 37. You are very welcome. Thanks, Becky. I'm not sure. Now, I have I have come upon rolling pins with black handles. So I know 30s is green, 40s is red. I'm not sure. And I've also come across um, items with blue handles. So I really don't know. I have no idea. That's a good Google question. <laughs> I do not know. All right. 
Next up, I have this beautiful um, uh, Mary and Baby Jesus. It is a musical uh, statue. This is an offer up, and it's going to start at $16. Okay, black is early 1900s, then blue, green, and red. Okay, black, blue, green, and red. I have a rolling pin up here on my shelf with black handles. Whoops, see it? That's the first time I ever found a rolling pin with black handles. There you go. Thank you, Susan, because I had no, no idea. Um, I did find several, um, like, egg, I found an egg beater with the blue handle, um, a knife sharpener with a blue handle, and there was something else with the blue handle. Yeah. Um, I believe it plays Ave Maria is the song that it plays. Um, it does work. Made in Taiwan. Yes. Ave Maria. Aw, uh, thanks, Bev. I was told that this is Ave Maria, and it is, yes. My mother, if she hears that, that song, she starts crying. Bye, Carrie. Thank you for being here. I don't think, I don't think it's Ave Maria myself. But I don't know. Um, it is made in Taiwan, and it has a, um, the San Francisco Music Box Company. Yeah, I don't think it's Ave Maria. I don't, I'm not sure what it is, but I, I, it doesn't sound, it just doesn't sound like Ave Maria. Anyways, let's count this down. 15, 14, 13, 12. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and sold. No chips, cracks, or flea bites on it. It's in excellent condition. And it is beautiful. Let's put her, let me see. I will put her down here. Boo! <laughs> All right. So that's going to go to uh, Minnie. Congratulations, Minnie. Thank you so much. Uh, let's see. Where is it? Do, 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 do. Uh, 18. Okay. Back to the clear glass. Y'all, these are stunning, and these are out of my collection. These are high C glass in the orchid pattern. These are an offer up, and these are going to start at $40 for the pair. Double candlestick holders, high C glass, 
and they are the orchid pattern. I'm just going to show you on the bottom. Now, the bottom of these is smooth, and the pattern is etched. It's either etched or... Uh, um, and now I forgot the term. Wheel cut, wheel cut, I'm not sure. These are absolutely stunning. Oh, enjoy yourself, Steel. Oh my goodness. No, the ones on eBay are Fostoria. Looks etched. Yeah, I'm not sure. I don't know how to tell the difference. I really don't. I just know that they're elegant depression. Yes, trident pattern. Thank you. I had that written down, actually. I had it written down. No, I didn't, but I, I did look them up, and they are the trident pattern. Yes. Cheryl knows her high C, and it's an etch. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. These are just beautiful. Now, um, I did have these in my living room with candles in them. So there is some sticky, um, you know, that sticky stuff you put in here so the candles will sit still. There's a little bit of residue in here, um, but that'll just help hold your candles in. <laughs> um, they are, they're just gorgeous absolutely stunning and i i just love them love them but a girl needs money to pay taxes <laughs> so these are going all right everybody i am gonna count these down 15 14 that was a little too much information my apologies I don't know why I just blurted that out. <laughs> 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and sold. <laughs> uh, I have nothing to hide. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right. Okay, I am going to refresh real quick. Put this in all messages. And those are going to Rebecca Rose for $51. Congratulations, and thank you, everyone, for bidding on those. I appreciate it. All right. Okay. Um, let me do this. This is beautiful, guys. Um, this is going to be an offer up as well. And it is going to start at $14. And it is for this stunning bird figurine. Yeah, Cheryl is a high C, the high C uh, queen. Of course, she never sends me pictures of anything, you know. I keep telling her, I want to see your collections. It's not happening. <laughs> um, so, yes, this is from made in Japan. Uh, here is the... The Japan mark on the bottom, the back stamp. Isn't that a beautiful bird? This is from my collection as well. And the flowers are in perfect condition. It is just gorgeous. And it stands eight and a quarter inches tall. 
And I just think the colors on this are stunning. Ooh, bird butt. Bird butt. No chips, cracks, or flea bites. Just beautiful. All right, I do see Roxanne S. Roxanne, do I have your information? Jan is at 15. You I don't I believe you're new to me. Um uh Virginia, hello. I do have your information. Okay. Yes, Cheryl, um, Cheryl belongs to High C, um, uh, like a, like a High C, um, I don't want to say club, but I don't know what you would, Cheryl, you tell them, I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, all right, you must have a big ass house, Cheryl, 27 cabinets. Holy hell. All right, I am going to count this beautiful bird uh, figuring down. 15, 14, 13, 12. Okay, Roxanne, no worries. <laughs> 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one, and sold. Yeah, I wasn't going to remember all that, Cheryl. <laughs> Not happening. <laughs> all right. It is going to go to Roxanne S. for 22. Congratulations. And thank you, everybody, that bid on that. All right. Okay, guys. Are y'all ready for some melted popcorn decorations for Easter? Woohoo! Let me bring these over. Hold on. All right, y'all. This is a choice. This is a choice lot. Just trying to make some room here so I can set these down. Okay. So, these are $16 each. Choice. We have the chick coming out of the egg. <laughs> we have a duck with some tulips. And we have three Easter bunnies. We have one, this one in like a... Um, I don't know what color you would call this. I don't know. He's got a basket of eggs. Then we have this one, which I'm calling uh, lavender. Fuchsia. Okay, we got fuchsia with the basket of eggs. We have lavender with the basket of eggs. And then we have the white bunny 
with the carrot. Okay? So those are your choices. Mr. Ducky. Ah! And then the chick and the egg. $16 each. And they are number five zero. Number 50. Happy birthday, happy birthday, Tanya Terry. <laughs> Okay, the first person I see is Eileen Driscoll. So, Eileen, what would you like, sweetheart? The white bunny, the chicken, the egg, and the duck. The white bunny, the chicken, the egg, and the duck. Chicken, the egg, the duck. Okay, so I have the two bunnies left. The fuchsia one and the lavender one. So the next person is Julie. Julie, are you interested in either one of the bunnies? Okay, Julie's going to pass. Um, Karen K, are you interested or are you passing? Both bunnies, okay, you got it. All right, Miss Karen. Karen K takes both bunnies. All right, thanks, guys. All right. Next up, I have another um, thrift flip. You're very welcome, Eileen. Thank you. Well, you know what? Before I do the thrift flip, let me do... I have a, I have some jewelry caskets today, guys. And these are beautiful jewelry caskets. So let me... Um, okay, the first one I have is this one. Now, this is going, these are all offer ups, by the way. I'm sorry. Um, this one is going to start at $16. And it is this beautiful, uh, I think it has Cosmo flowers on it, Cosmos. Or, no, not Cosmos, Bachelor Buttons. Is it bachelor buttons? I don't know. But anyways, it has a peach colored um, lining. Very, this is an old one, guys. Absolutely beautiful. Um, I'll show you the bottom. That is the bottom. And it's like a, it's like a pewter. It looks like pewter. But I just, I think this is just beautiful. Oh my gosh. Okay, I know the lag is bad, so I'm just giving it a minute. If there's no interest, I'll go to the next one.
All right, we will pass on that one. Where did I put the... Okay. Next, I have this one, and this one, it says W-E, hold on. W-E-D-518. This is an offer up, and this one is going to start at $18. So this is the bottom, and this is where it says WED 518. And here is the top. It's got a beautiful blue lining with a piece of lint. <laughs> It is absolutely gorgeous. Here's your size reference. Love all this detailing. Double hearts. Um, I think it is too, Karen. I do have another one that's silver plate as well. All right. I am going to start to count this beautiful jewelry casket down. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one, and sold. All right. And I want to say thank you to everyone that bid on that. And that one is going to Helen Casey for $25. Thank you, Miss Helen. All right, I do have two more, but we'll we'll go back to those. Now I have two uh, two different uh, book lots. These um, books, one stack is from the eight, late eighteen hundreds. So let me um let me see here where. Okay, number 21. Oh, no, Susan. I don't have it in the sale for today, honey. Um, okay, so this is going to be an offer up choice. Okay? Um, so these books here, this is a dictionary. This is a dictionary, y'all. Um, we're going to start these at a $15 um, for both. You know, I mean, $15 choice offer up. Um, yes, this is from... Now, somebody did scribble in here with pen on the first few page or pencil. On the few, for, oh my God, I can't talk. The first few pages. Um, I was trying to see if there was a date on here. And the it's so old. Um, I can't, I cannot find a date. 
on, on this dictionary. So this is the first book in the first lot. Then we have this book by J Josiah. Oh, it's called, well, I don't know. There's two things on here. Samantha at Saratoga, and then it says Josiah Allen's wife. And this is the inside cover. And this one is from 1898. And the third book is The Three Musketeers. And look at, look at that. Isn't that awesome? Um, this one is from J.H. Sears and Company Incorporated. Uh, this one doesn't have a date on it either. So I don't know, um, but so that is lot number one for the three, these three books here. Lot number two, I believe these are all from the late 1800s. This one's called The King's Stratagem by Stanley J. Wayman. And this one is from 1895. Then we have this beautiful book. And this is, look at, aren't they fabulous? Um, this one is uh, let's see, I'm looking for a date. This is the new New Testament, I guess. Printed in Germany. This was printed in Germany. And I don't see a date on this either. Then we have uh, this one, Collection Hartleben. And this one uh, doesn't have a date either. It does have some uh, damage on the, hi, Nate, on the pages. It looks like oil or something. Um, no date on this one. This one is called Milton's La Allegro and Other Poems. And... 1895 on this one. 1895 on this one. So, you have your choice. This, this lot has four books. And this lot has three. So they were starting at, I think, what did I say, $15? I forget. <laughs> um, was there any interest at all? I see Amy is at $15. Hi, Ramola. Ramola is at $18. There, let me do it like this. Heidi is at 19. 
I got these at an estate sale quite a few years back, and they really had some amazing old books. You just got home? Cool. Did you have a good time? I know you said you had some place you had to go. Well, it's an offer up choice, Amy. Offer up choice. The winner gets their choice of which lot they want. Um, okay, Heidi is at 23. Okay, Amy's out. Doris is at 25. Hey, fly girl, what up? All right, I'm going to start to count these down. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and sold. All right, so let me refresh real quick. Okay, so Heidi, you came in below the stop. So I see um, Ramola for $30 as the high offer. Ramola, which lot would you like? Did you want the lot of four or the lot of three with the Blue Boy Dictionary? Just let me know. The first set of three. Okay, that would be, yes, okay. You got it. That's the one with the dictionary. Okay, so the next person is Doris. Oh, hold on. Doris, okay, you're going to pass. Okay. So then we had Heidi. Heidi, are you interested in this lot of four for 26? Just let me know. Okay, you got it. Thank you. All right, Heidi's going to take those. All right, thank you so much. Okay, I have some beautiful decorative plates. So I'm going to do these really quick. Let me just get a sip. I'm parched. Everybody is saying hi, Tyler. They keep seeing you walk by. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> okay. This first plate. Now, these are all flat-priced items. This is um, Mon, Mon Bijou Bavaria. And it is this gorgeous rose plate. Look at the details on this plate. Isn't this gorgeous? Uh, I believe this is maybe six and a quarter inches. Hold on one second. Uh, no, six and three quarter inches. Six and three quarter inches. No cracks, chips, or flea bites. It is $14, number 24. Fourteen dollars, number twenty-four. KP Gunther, you got it. 
All right, KP. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. This one's a pretty cool plate, too. Now, this one, I believe, this is a transfer. And this is Bavaria Schwarzen, Schwar, Schwarzenhammer. Schwarzenhammer. And this is, this is very pretty. Look at how pretty those roses are. And look at the design in gold. There is a little bit of, of paint loss on the gold and a few spots. And this plate is nine and a half inches in diameter. It is $16, number 25. $16, number 25. Welcome back. <laughs> and KP wants that one as well. All right, you got it. All right. I have another plate, but I'm going to go back to my jadeite. I know you do. You're like me. I love, love decorative plates. Okay. This is the last of my jadeite for the sale today. This is going to be an offer up starting at $22. I know I have I have a problem when it comes to decorative like plates and bowls and stuff. <laughs> this is going to be a three piece lot. So we have the Jane a Fire King Jane Ray saucer. No chips, cracks, or flea bites. Fire King Jane Ray. Obviously. <laughs> then we have, this is a plain uh, Fire King Jadeite plate. This would be more of like um, a salad plate or a luncheon plate. Here is the Fire King. Logo on the back. And then I have... Now this one does have a little bit of a haze on it. And I don't know if this is... I think this is Jane Ray as well. Uh, Fire King. And this is a Jane Ray... Um, I guess it would be a dinner plate. Um, it is, yeah, it's almost, it's nine inches. It is nine inches. So you can see that it's, it's got a little bit of a haze to it. So you'll get all three of these, um, plates. Bye Val. Thanks for popping in, sweetheart. Spaghetti dinner, yummy. <laughs> no decorating plate problem there. Yeah, okay. So it's all three of the jadeite for uh, starting at $22. I had these back there with that other one that's back here. That one is not real jadeite. Hi, Judy Reardon. How are you? All right. So Minnie and Jeffrey are duking it out. Minnie is at 25. Jeffrey is at 28. Where are you going, Ty? Going to Alex. Oh, all righty then. Have fun. Oh, I will. I'm sure it's going to sit there. <laughs> well, at least we won't be alone, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Oh. All right, so I see Minnie 
is at 39. All right. The countdown shall begin. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and sold. I just went on a beer run and I'm alone. Is that wrong? Hell no. Hell no. I'm alone every day and I have my cocktail. It's better than going out and sitting in a bar alone. Hello. <laughs> All right, let me refresh real quick. Uh, all right, mini for $39. That's right, Robin. That's right. Better than drinking and driving. Hell yeah. Mini gets these for $39. Jeffrey, you were just under the sold. All right. All right. Thank you so much. Okay. I have another beautiful perfume bottle. Look at this lovely iridescent. This is an offer up and it's going to start at $16 for this beautiful iridescent perfume bottle. No cracks, chips, or flea bites. It's very dusty. I do have to clean it. My bad. <laughs> Uh, there's no markings on the bottom or anything, so I don't know who makes it. But I just love that. Look at that beautiful rainbow effect. Like that oil slick look. Keeping it real. I meant to say hello to you earlier. Hello, how you doing? <laughs> hey, classic old soul. <laughs> we are all the baby boomers. We are all the baby boomers. I need to put some alcohol in here, apparently. Maybe I'll take a short break and do that. <laughs> all right, I see Gin Fizz is at 20. I know, I know. I just have certain ones that that I really, really like. So, all right. We shall begin a countdown on this beauty. There's your size reference. <laughs> You're a Gen Xer, but I... Lori, when were you born? I don't know what the Gen Xer is and all that crap. I just know my own baby boomer from the 50s and 60s or whatever. You're going to be 66 on Tuesday. Happy birthday, 1970. Okay, Lori. All right. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and sold. So my brother's a Gen Xer. He was born in 72. The Broham. We're nine years apart. All right, let's refresh. All right, that is going to go to Hazel Atlas for $27. Congrats, Hazel, and thank you, everyone, that bid on that.
You're a Gen X, Nettie. Hi, Nettie. <laughs> My brother is 51 and I'm 60. You're a real baby boomer. 1947. You go, Judy Joe. <laughs> Very early millennial for Karen K. You are welcome. If you were born in the 50s, you don't care what people are. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. Next up, I have... Um... 1952 for Cheryl. You go, Cheryl. All right. I have, um, these are an offer up. Linda Joy, you're a boomer. Yay. Yay to the boomers. <laughs> um, so these are an offer up starting at $16 for the pair. For the pair. And apparently, these are Avon. These beautiful angel uh, taper candle holders. And these are heavy, y'all. I, I don't know if they're crystal or not. But look how pretty these look on top of a light box. Of course... This doesn't fit on here, but you could put fairy lights inside of them and then your taper candle. But I just wanted to show you how pretty they look with the light box. Um, yeah, these are Avon, and I did not know that. I did not know that. Boomers rule, you're damn straight. You're damn straight. <laughs> Rock on. <laughs> Hi, Lisa. Lisa Trotner. No, you definitely don't because you could kill somebody with these. <gasps> Happy birthday, Cheryl. I didn't know that. Oh, my goodness. Happy birthday, sweetheart. All right. I see, well, there's two, I see Betty at $16. I'm going to start to count these down. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, <laughs> four, three, two, one, and sold. <laughs> Y'all are bad influence. Bad influence. Lori wants to knock the snot out of somebody with those candle holders. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay, so I see this stop, and it's going to go to Betty for 31. Congratulations, Betty, and thank you, everybody, that offered on those. Uh, let me see. There we go. 31 to Betty. Thank you, Betty. All right, I have um, I have uh, some upcycles here. This is a flat priced item, and this is a riser. This is a riser that I made out of that dark um, chunk of wood that had the black line going down it, and one of y'all thought it had was a um, an indent for plates. Um, so I just made this little uh, riser out of it. Oh, thanks, 
Thanks, Karen. I even did the bottom. Thank you. I love this. I love this paper. It's such a pretty blue. Um, there's your size reference. So for this riser, I'm asking, where did I put my sticker? $14, number 47. $14, number 47. Um, Minnie, I did refresh before I called the winner. And the winner was, uh, you were, you were below the stop. So it was Betty. I, I refresh before I call the winner. Uh, hi, Kara. You got it. Thank you so much. Aw, oh, thanks, Robin. Uh, do, 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 where'd it go? What number was that again? 47. Kara. Thank you, thank you. And I had it on here and I had the books on top. All right. <laughs> okay. Um, let's do this. Okay. This is an offer up and we're going to start it at $18. Look how cute. Now, I did not put any fairy lights in here. Um, but if you would like to put fairy lights in it, whoever, um, if anybody buys it, if you let me know, I will send you a set of fairy lights. He's doing wonderful, Fly Girl. Thank you for asking. He goes in a week to get his stitches out. So this was one of those clocks that I purchased that wasn't working. And um, I just did a, a paint job on it. And so I just put, now I just dropped these eggs in here. So they're going to probably move around, you know, in shipping. I just wanted to let you know because they're not glued down. Only because... It's very hard. I had to put I had to put the all the, the the moss down before I put the bunnies because I can't get to the front once the bunnies are in because I had to do it from the back. So once I put the bunnies in, it was hard for me to get around the bunnies to glue the eggs in. So I just kind of dropped them down in there over the top of the bunnies. Y'all get what I'm saying, right? <laughs> so, but there it is. And then there's that cute little bunny um, decoupaged on the back. So, I'm so glad you guys like my thrift flips. Because I so enjoy doing them. You have no idea. I just love to do, to create. And I'm just glad you guys like them as much as I do. Okay, I'm going to um, count this down. This is a, um, uh, oh my gosh. Oh, I want to say this is a home co. The bunnies are a home co figurine as well. Um... I can't remember, Karen. I'd have to go back and look. Aw, uh, thanks, Minnie. Thank you, Paulette. I appreciate that. All right, I'm going to count this down. 15, 
14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and sold. You know what, Doris? This is one of my favorite bunny figurines, like ever. I absolutely love it. No, but I will sign it. I, pr I will sign it. I'll sign it on the bottom if I can. I don't want to tip it upside down. All right, I'm going to refresh and we will see who who gets this. Betty, Betty Escalin for $65. Congratulations and thank you everybody. Thank you so much for offering on that. I know I do forget, Julie. I'm terrible. I am terrible. I should go get a marker. Um, let's see, where is it? Uh, here it is. 65. Let me grab my marker real quick, guys. Because then I feel bad when I forget. Well, the eggs are going to move, but. All right, I signed it. Betty, would you like fairy lights um, to put inside of there? Okay, all right. Let me just make a note, fairy lights. All right, I will send them to you. Beautiful. Okay, this next item is an offer up, and it's going to start at um, $18. So y'all remember, I, I sold one of these before, and it had the matching cup. This one was missing the cup. So I did find some small glasses and this one fits perfect on here. Okay, Rebecca, thanks for being here, honey. Have a good weekend. Uh, so now I have just a plain uh, glass to go with this, but it fits perfectly. And I love this. I should really... Um, Keep one of these for myself instead of having a big jug of um, sparkling water. But my cats would probably knock it over and break it. So it's this beautiful tumble up. Uh, no chips, cracks, or flea bites. It's an offer up starting at $18, um, Steel. It's beautiful, and like I said, I wish, there's the bottom. No chips, cracks, or flea bites. I was just happy to find a glass that would fit on top. Hi, Lorraine. 
Um, so I'm like I said, I'm just glad I found a glass that would go on there. I have another. Yes, you can. Yes, you can, Karen. This one. You got it. You got it. Okay. I am starving. Jeez, and I still got, I feel like I got a ton of stuff still. Let me move this stuff all over here. I got, I'm going to do jewelry next, guys. I have a few pieces of jewelry and, okay. I shall start to count this down. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, listen to Virginia, 2, 1, and sold. <laughs> I have till 8 o'clock. <laughs> oh my gosh, ribs. Lori's still here till her beer runs out. Y'all, I'm going to make myself a mixed drink, okay? Tuna sandwich for me. That sounds yummy, Frida. I love tuna fish. I have tuna noodle casserole in the fridge. It's really not something I should be eating on my diet, but I've been really good. I think I lost nine pounds so far, so I don't know. But anyways, it's going to go to Minnie for $31. Uh, Minnie. Thank you, Minnie, and thank you, everybody that bid on that. Okay, you talked me into it. <laughs> Chat amongst yourselves. <laughs> it's howdy doody time. It's howdy doody time. I don't remember the rest of the words. It's howdy doody time. <laughs> oh my goodness. What am I going to mix it with? Uh, I guess I could mix it with my sparkling water. Sure, why not? Why not? We'll do, um, I don't know. I don't have anything... I don't have any more iced tea, which is usually what I mix it with. All right. All right, guys, you're going to be sorry. <laughs> Y'all are going to be sorry. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> it's howdy do uh, great to have you back again howdy 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 doody we're glad to see you brought your friends well i'm glad you remember that becky because that was before my time cheers salute how you doing okay jewelry um, it's vodka, and I mixed it with my sparkling peach um, water. Mr. Bluster and Clarabelle, and when Buffalo Bob gives the sign, we'll all join in and start to yell, it's howdy doody time. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> no, you don't want to get me drunk. Trust me. It's not pretty. All right, moving on. Oh, Google search. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. 
Next up, I have this beautiful pin. It is um, black uh, faceted stones with um, like white beads. Isn't this an awesome pin? No, I'm not a nasty drinker. Um, I just get tired and then fall asleep. <laughs> no. Um, it has a rollover uh, clasp. It is not marked. This is out of my collection as well. Does Walmart deliver liquor? Um, I don't think so, but there is an app called Drizzly <laughs> that you could try. It is two and a half inches long. Yeah, I'm pretty funny, Lorraine. <laughs> That's what I'm told. <laughs> uh, this beautiful pin is $16 and it's number 37. $16, number 37. <laughs> Wine works. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> All right, I see Barb Connolly for that pretty pin. Thanks, Barb. It's beautiful. I love it. I love it. I just don't go anywhere to wear them. Okay. Okay. Um, let's do this last plate. This plate measures nine and a quarter inches. And I believe it's the cherry, is it the cherry blossoms, y'all? Y'all told me because I wasn't sure. It's not marked. I don't know who makes it. But I just think it's so pretty. And I love um, how they like shaded in all these colors. Who did you whack, Robin? Hold on, hold on. Who did Robin whack? I know, isn't it beautiful? Um, this is $16 and it's number 26. Okay, Lorraine. $16, number 26. Doris. Okay, Doris, you got it. Thank you. Got to go back to my first page here. Hopefully I'm not sleeping by then, um, Lorraine. Okay. I have another beautiful um, vintage pin. This one has beautiful uh, blue rhinestones and they are all prong set. Silver toned. It has the uh, C clasp or rollover clasp. Let me, let me see if I can, there you go. Um, this one measures, oh, oh, about two inches long, and it is $16, number 39, $16, number 39. All right, and my last jewelry piece is this pretty, this is a beautiful pin, 
brooch pin, whatever you would like to call it, with all these beautiful blue rhinestones in it. And these, these are not prong set, okay? And it has this kind of a pin back. So I think somebody made this into a brooch out of an earring. I think this was an earring at one time and someone made it into a brooch. Um, this one is $14, number 38. $14, number 38. I just love the colors in that, that ice blue. Miss Karen, you got it. Thank you. Okay, so that's it for the jewelry. Number 38, Karen K. All right. Um... Let's see, this next item is an offer up. And, oh, it'll definitely stay on for sure. You're welcome, Karen, thank you. Um, this is gonna start at $14. And it is for This vintage inkwell, let me take my sticker off of there. It's a beautiful inkwell. Whoops. There's the top. Now, I don't know if this had at one time a hinge, because there's the back, and it fits on like this. So it probably had a little hinge there, but that has long been gone. But I just love the detailing on this um, brass or whatever it is. It's beautiful. This was my mom's. What are you saying, um, Judy? Oh, I would like to have a tumbler with you got it on it. <laughs> well, if I buy an engraving machine, you can. <laughs> yes, there's Fritzy boy. It's small. It's a small one, but it's gorgeous. And it's, it's in really fantastic condition other than the little hinge. All right, so I see Karen is at <laughs> Karen is at eighteen dollars. Okay, you go ahead and bid, and I'll I'll put the sold in. Let me actually type it in there. Okay. All right. Work. Blue. Geez, I had one sip, and I still can't talk. We're gonna count this down. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and sold. All right, I shall refresh. And it is going to Cheryl Hoskins for 26 doll hairs. Congratulations, and thank you everybody that bid on that. 26 doll hairs, whoops. Uh, 
All righty. I have two more. Well, let's do this first. This is also out of my collection, and I will make sure it's nice and clean and sparkly when I send it. Um, Karen, this is an offer up as well, and it's going to start at $16. Look at this awesome lighter, y'all. You just got to put some fluid in there. You pop this out. I guess. Look how pretty that is. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. And I think it goes in there somewhere. And it does say Japan. I don't know if you could, there it is, Japan. That fits in there. Does this? This also comes out. So somehow, you got to fill it. I don't know how. Hi, Jessica. Yeah, well, they got to put a flint. Look, there's the little, there's the little um, thingamajig. My daughter's lurking in there, y'all. <laughs> this is a very, very cool piece. No shiz. That's where I got the shizzle and shiznit from, you guys. Yeah. Yeah. But I just had it as a as a decor piece. Um, I had it sitting with the um, inkwell. But I just think it's awesome. I think it's very, very cool. Right, yeah, there's no flint. Oh, really? It all comes apart? Okay, yeah, I, you know. I don't know. Okay, I don't see any interest in that, and that's fine. I will put it aside, and we will move on because it's almost 6 o'clock. I have one, two, three, four, five, six items left. Okay, I have another jewelry casket. This one is... Silver plated, silver plated, and it's again a heart shape. Oh my God. <laughs> Slippery fingers. Sorry, I didn't I didn't dent it or anything. It's perfectly fine. And this one is for rings. Look at wedding bells. How cool is that? And I will show you the bottom where it says silver plate. This is just so stinking cool. Now, if you don't like all that patina on there, you could um, definitely polish it. You could, oh, um, the start price, I'm sorry, guys. I thought I said it. Um, it starts at $16. $16, I'm sorry. Yes, I just love all the detailing on it. Sorry, Karen. <laughs> Totally forgot. That's what I'm thinking, Cat. Now, there is a little teeny, see the little bit of damage there? But that's old. You could glue that with fabric glue if you wanted to. But look at that. Wedding bells. How cool is that? 
I just, I think it's so pretty. I see Susan at 16. And again, it is silver plate. It says something else, or is that just like a marking? Where's my... Silver plate, and then it says W something. WB, maybe? It's really hard to see, but... All right, I'm going to start to count this down. Okay, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and sold. All right. And it looks like it is going to go to Susan for 25. Thank you so much, Susan. Oh, maybe... But it, but it looked like a D for some reason. Okay, this is my last... Yes, Susan. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> I just saw that. <laughs> okay. This one is made in Japan. Um, this is an offer up as well, and it's going to start at $14. There is the Japan on the bottom. Is that what that says? Japan? Yeah. I had it, I had it backwards. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, wasn't that cool classic? So this one is a little oval one with beautiful flowers on the top. And it has a red lining. It's nice and clean. It's this big. I love it. I just love all the details. I My favorite is the flowers that are on the top. Oh, look how cool. I just realized it had like the indentations in here from the flowers on the top. That's kind of cool. And it's like a red um, felt, I guess. Does it glow? No, but you're glowing, aren't you, Karen? <laughs> All right. I do see um, Doris at 14. I will start to count it down. <laughs> Renee, get him, Renee. <laughs> All right. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one and sold. Karen is a drunk boomer. <laughs> they got you, Karen. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's hilarious. She's a drunk boomer, all right. Okay, that's going to Cheryl Hoskins for 16. All right. Thank you, Miss Cheryl. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay. 
I have a, a lot of Easter die cuts. And these are for one price. There are one, two, three, four, five in this lot. And they are a flat price. So I have this one, and it, this is like vinyl coated. Uh, it actually was um, a, a card, an Easter card. And the person, it was uh, made by Ambassador Cards. And then the person just put like this vinyl on it so they could hang it up as a decoration. Uh, thanks, Lori. So this is the first one. Then we have this bunny holding the egg. Now he does have a little crease right in his wrist where he's holding the egg. And he's got the little riveted uh, moving moving legs. Then we have a chick coming out of the egg. And I don't see any makers on these at all. So I have no idea who makes them. Now these two are um, made by Eureka and they're both the same. So if you have like a double kitchen window or something, they would look cute in there. There's a little crease right here, as you can see. And they are two-sided. Two-sided. This one is not two-sided. He is just one-sided. So for all of these, it is $14, number seven. $14, number seven. Whoa, 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 sit still. <laughs> bring hashtag, bring back the drunk boomers. You guys are crazy. Y'all are crazy. All right. No takers on the die cuts. That's all right. I'll just throw them up in my living room window. I do have two St. Patrick's Day die cuts. Um, so I have two available. They're both exactly the same. They're $8 each. Look how cute these are. They're in great condition. There is a piece of tape on the bottom here, and I'm just leaving it. I'm not going to even touch it. I'm, actually, there's tape on both of them, but just leave it alone, and they'll be perfectly fine. So these are $8 each. Who makes them? Are, is it written on there anywhere? No. No maker on these. Um, and they are number 51. $8 each, number 51. Okay. Um, oh, Mary Beth. I got you, Mary Beth. Thank you, Mary Beth. So we have Mary Beth and Helen Casey. So Mary Beth, do you want one or both? If you only want one, then um, Helen will get the other one. Okay, you got it. Thank you. All right. Mary Beth is going to take both of those. All right. I have another one of my thrift flips. This is a... Um, 
This is an offer up and it's gonna start at $16. So this was one of those galvanized envelopes. Aw, uh, thank you, Sandra. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Uh, so this was a galvanized um, envelope, like wall pocket, and it's got a hanger on the back, and this is what I did with it. I had, um, I had taken this frame out of an embroidery kit uh, because I really liked the frame. So what I did was, is I added it to this piece, and I did painted it and did rub on transfers on it. And I just love how this turned out. I think it's so pretty. And I mean, you could put anything in here. You could put flowers or whatever. Um, I just thought it came out really cute and it's a nice size. This is one of the larger ones. Thanks, Karen. It is. Um, 11, it's almost 12 inches long. And as far as height, it's 11 and a half. 11 and a half tall and 12 inches this way. Uh, thanks, Everyday Crafter. All right. Okay. I don't see any interest in that, and that's perfectly fine. I will put that aside. Oh, I see Cat Law. Cat Law is in at 16. I keep forgetting about the lag. I know it's the lag is bad today. All right, I'm going to start to count it down. So if anyone's interested, make sure to get your, your bids in because the lag is really bad today. Okay, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and sold. All right. <laughs> yes, you did, KP. <laughs> That's going to go to Cat Law for 20. Thank you, Cat. I really appreciate that. <laughs> All right. I have uh, two things left, guys. And then we'll do the giveaways. Oh, there is some shiznit on there. Look at guys, how cute. I know it's March, but you know me, I do my Christmas all year. Look at this adorable hand-painted Santa sled. How cute is this? Oh, I just love it. And the person that painted it did sign it. This is an offer up and it's starting at $16. <laughs> KP, oh my goodness, you are a hot mess, girl. <laughs> you are a hot mess. Let me measure this for you. The lady that painted it has her um, information on the back. Her address label is on the back. 
So let me see. I should have brought my yardstick out, but okay, 12. It's 17 inches tall and eight and a half inches wide. And her name is Mildred Terameo. Mildred Terameo that painted this beautiful um, sled. So starting at $16. <laughs> right, Susan? There you go. Look how pretty he is. She did a fantastic job on that. I love it. If nobody buys it, I'll keep them. He's adorable. Right? Hi, Jan. I didn't see you. I just think he's so stinking cute. All right. Okay. I don't see any interest in this, so I will put that aside. And I have my last item, guys. It is another... Um, Oh, Cat Law is in at 16. The cabinet behind me on the floor. There is no... Oh, the cabinet already sold. This cabinet here, that already sold. Okay, so... I will count it down for cat. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and sold. Thank you so much, cat. It's such a cute, um, she did a really great job on that. Hey, Cindy, how are ya? Um, do, 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 do. Oh, here it is. Duh. All right. My last item is another thrift flip. This one is just very simple and... Um, it's an offer up. Let me just find it on my sheet. I actually just saw it. And uh, where is it? Oh, no, that ain't it. Here it is. <laughs> this is going to start at $16. And this is another... One of those uh, clocks that I, so this is a Department 56 Snow Baby Bunny Rabbit, as you can see. And then inside we have a little bird and we have carrots. And that was all I did to it. Um, I can uh, send some fairy lights with this if, you know, you would like, uh, if anybody purchases it, I would be glad to send. Uh, thanks, Karen. I would be glad to send fairy lights with it. I just thought it was really cute. I just, I love it. So this is starting at, what did I say, 16 Yeah, $16 is the starting price on this piece. Oh, Susan. Wow, Susan came in like gangbusters at 25. Thank you, Susan. Thanks, Roxanne. I just I just kept it simple. And I don't have <clears throat> excuse me, I don't have a ton of like um small Easter little tchotchkes, you know, to to put in here. So, uh, this was the best I could come up with. <laughs> Thank you, Carol. I appreciate it. 
So thanks, Robin. You guys are so sweet. Um, okay, so I guess I'll count it down. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Tomorrow, 5. Really rainy weather and can expect a high of 44 degrees Fahrenheit and a low of 29 degrees. That's nice. Four, three, <laughs> two, one, and sold. Um, yes, I did classic gold soul. I have I have a mold and I made them out of um right Virginia. <laughs> I made them um out of uh hot glue actually which was a trick that I learned. Yes, the, I made the carrots because I didn't have tiny enough carrots. Okay, I am going to refresh really quick and see who got that. Uh, let's see. It is going to Susan for $33. Congratulations, Susan, and thank you, um, Cheryl, for bidding on that as well. All right. Okay, so I only had a few items that didn't sell. I had the Easter um, die cuts that didn't sell, and those were uh, $14 for, I think, six of them. Then I had this beautiful vintage, this beautiful vintage pin for $16, number 39. The Vintage Lighter. Oh, Julie wants number 39. Okay, thank you, Julie. You got it. That's a beautiful pin. All right. And then I had the Vintage Lighter. Um, it was an offer up starting at $16. So if anyone's interested, um, it is number seven, $16, number seven. And that's it, guys. Y'all cleaned me out today. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, oh, and then the... Um, Now, the person that got the bunny, Susan, did you want fairy lights to put inside the bunny or no? Because I'll be glad to send them for you. Yeah, I wish, Kat. Because <laughs> I just want to make a note of it so I remember to put them in with it. Okay, you got it. Fairy lights. All right. Okay, yep. So now we have um the giveaway. Oh yeah, I can show them again, Rebecca. Um, I have two, I have two of these and they are double sided. Um, they don't, uh, have a maker on them, so I don't know who makes them and they're in excellent condition. There's, you know, the only issue is on this one. There was a little bit of tape up here. Then I have this one, which was actually um, a card that somebody laminated and made it into um, 
uh, a die cut. This wall, oh, this one's Bystol. 2005, this one is Bystol, the bunny. Now he's got a little crease in his wrist and he's jointed. And then I have the duck coming out of the egg. This one is Bystol as well. And this one is 2001. So you got all of those for $14 and it was number one, number one. Dang, I can't believe I didn't see the Bystol on those before. Am I blind or what? Holy cow. Aw, uh, thanks, Bev. Have a great weekend. Happy St. Pat Happy St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> Jesus. Wow, I had three sips and I can't even talk straight. Okay, let's get ready for the giveaway, y'all. So, this is what I have today for those that didn't say. Oh, you're welcome, Rebecca. For those that didn't see them, I have this uh, cute little ceramic uh, trinket box. Then we have um, this Bisque Angel tea light candle holder, or not tea light, taper candle holder. Bye, Nettie. Thank you. And this beautiful little resin bird with uh, glitter on him. All right, y'all. Here we go. I got to stop saying y'all. You would think I live down south. I can't help it. Okay. I'm looking for a number between... 60 and 80, 60 and 80. Use guys, we have a winner. Stop. Cat law, number 61. Cat Law. Karen, can you double check me in Virginia? Okay. Cat, what would you like? The bird? Oh my God, think you've been drinking? <laughs> the bird, the angel candle holder, or the trinket box? You got it, okay. Trinket. Cat law. All right, Kat, congratulations. Okay, get your fingers ready, folks. I am looking for a number between 20 and 40. 20 and 40. We got a winner. We have a winner. Hazel Atlas. Hazel Atlas. Double check me, guys. Okay, Hazel, what would you like? The candle holder or the bird? <laughs> yeah, how's them beers going down, Wortley? Okay, Hazel wants the bird. Okay. 
<laughs> One of these days, I'm going to meet up with Lori Wortley, and we're going to go out and party. All right. So now we're going to be going for the Angel Taper Candle Holder. I would like a number between 1 and 20. 1 and 20. <laughs> oh, Wortley. Okay, we've got a winner. We have a winner. Jan Allardyce, number 11. Woohoo! All right, Jan, you get the pretty angel uh, candle holder. Oh, my God, you guys. Thank you so much, and congratulations to all of the winners today. I hope you guys have a wonderful St. Patrick's Day. Have a green beer for me. Don't forget to go over and check out um, Pamela Blanchard at 8 o'clock. I know you guys got two hours to have some more drinks before you go and check out Pam's channel. <laughs> Thank you so much, everyone. You really, you make my Saturdays. You guys crack me up. I just love you guys. Look at Karen. Karen's going to be drinking. Where is that food coloring? Exactly. Green beers. Irish potato confections. I don't know what those are. Cindy, happy St. Patrick's Day. See you at Pam's Hammered. <laughs> All right, Lori, I'll be looking forward to it. <laughs> You're hilarious. Oh, my God, you guys. Have a great weekend. Green cut coloring and Chardonnay. There you go. Yes, I will I will do that. Yes, guys, I'm going to tape my um, cooking video of my corned beef and cabbage tomorrow. In the midst of packing all my stuff. <laughs> so we'll be going back and forth, back and forth. Whatever. All right, guys, I will catch you guys in my next video. Lori will be... Yes, yeah, she will. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Wait, what did you say, Kat? It's cream cheese and confectionery sugar and shredded coconut. Roll into balls and cinnamon on top. Oh, my God. That sounds amazing. Oh, send me the recipe. So when I'm not dieting, I can try them. <laughs> Can't wait to get Binks's butt in the mail. You guys are hilarious. All right, you guys. I'm going to go eat because I'm starving. Oh, thanks, Kat. All right, bye, guys. <laughs> oh, too much, too much.